Hey YouTube, Murray Mayhem here. Gonna give you uh, kind of an update as to what all's going on. Do some shout outs, different stuff. Let me spin you around here. If you would, take a look at SulfurCityDesigns.com for all of your off-road mud mower modding stickage and uh, apparel, actually. Uh, Southern Off-Road Mowers on the Facebook there and post some junk if you would or not. Uh, but if you would, it'd be nice. Um, I want to give a shout out to a bunch of people that have subscribed. Joseph Fullington on Google Plus. Thanks for subscribing, man. Just Listen XD7. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Uh, I really appreciate it, man. Colton Hare on the Google Plus there. Thank you, sir. And Patrick Parsons, I wanted to uh, send you a message and tell you, man, I'm really sorry we weren't able to get together and go riding today. I ended up having to uh, take down all the Christmas stuff and uh, shop back up all the needles, which really sucked. <sighs> but, uh, gonna go over some stuff uh, that we're gonna try to get done this weekend and I'm gonna spin you around. More to come. Who is this? Where you going, lady? Oh, that is so sweet. I like your pants. That's not nice. This is a going on YouTube. But before we do, spin you around. Don't forget this thing ends uh, tonight. SulfurCityDesign.com ends at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time, midnight. 20% off of store wide and uh, free shipping for anything over $50 or more. So, uh, PUBG Dizzy, uh, myself, BC Truck, a uh, bunch of other guys, uh, Tough Dog, Tough Dog got his on there too. Go to it, order some junk, and uh, he sent me a message, and uh, there were a couple of you that had uh, purchased some stuff uh, uh, through the sale or the holiday. Uh, I wanted to tell you, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Got kudzu. Uh, the weld is finished. I still do it, need to do a little bit of grinding to get all that kind of smoothed out. But, as you can see, it is solid. I know I said I was going to do a couple of tack welds, but the damn thing kept moving. So I welded it till it quit. Um, I'm going to grind off all the stickers. Um, get all the bad spots prepped. I'm going to try to put some paint on this thing. I'll get up in the morning, come out here, start heating the garage up. And then we'll get it, uh, get the metal warm enough. We'll see if we can't do some painting. I really don't like to paint in cold weather, but I do on occasion if I can get all the stuff warm enough. Um, and that weld right there, that is held really well. And that way I can get this thing checked off the list. And tomorrow, I've been eyeballing it. I am going to go ahead and put some rims in these things and uh, have them around for just whenever I need them. So we're gonna try to do that tomorrow as well. I was able to find, because uh, I talked to a couple of people and they said scrape it off, scrape it off, because it should be on there. And it is, and I will zoom you in, it is a 40, go figure. And you might be able to see it, you might not. There it is, it is 40. So, that's really good to know. Now I can go ahead and start ordering uh, all the pieces and parts that I need for it. Uh, we are more than likely going to do the, uh, kind of like the, uh, the, the sprocket, uh, the, the tooth sprocket, the gear sprocket. I think that would really do well to hold it on. I don't know, uh, talk, uh, a couple of people had mentioned as well about taking out as much of the slack on it as I can and taking out enough lengths to get it to work. I don't know if I can get enough to where it would be tight enough to run well, yet, um, you know, have enough, have enough tension but enough slack. That's what I'm trying to say. So I don't know. Um, I'd love to do it without that. I can still try it now that I know okay. what size now, lengths. I figured while I had a few minutes, I did go ahead and take this chain off. And it doesn't look bad. 
I mean, uh, I, I think I'm going to use it again. I am going to uh, clean it up and boil it. Uh, in oil, I probably will boil all of them just because I imagine they have never been boiled. I have uh, extended the tensioner all the way down out of the way. Let me get you where you can kind of see it. Okay. It's in the bottom right hand corner of that tensioner is. I'll point to it. It's right there. That's where it normally is up against this providing the tension. That is extended down out of the way. Now we're going to see exactly how many links we would need to remove just to run it as it sets. Okay. Let me get a situation. We're getting ready to head out of here. Uh, one more thing uh, I want you to think about. Let me know what your thoughts are on this. This is where the battery box is, where the battery normally would go. I'm thinking of moving the battery box here behind the seat, but I do have some concerns. First, I want to make sure that I can get enough air uh, in and around the motor to keep it cool and the second is having a uh, possible source of ignition next to my fuel tank boom I hear the music y'all gonna make some money.